Just a little sneak peek. Had to do a little test fit, make sure everything fit. Finna pull it out. Rhino line of the box. Got my dog right here, helping me out. <laughs> Yo, I know a lot of y'all been asking to see this bill. Probably ain't what y'all expecting. Here you go. Ain't nothing fancy. Trump broke. I'm all that damn slapping bro. I just had to weld it. I had to knock that off. But this all I got. Four American base 15s in a sealed box. It is not ported. This little amp right here is what's powering everything. Tower amps, 3,000 watts. That's all I got for battery current besides the battery that I got in the front. I know a lot of y'all get pressured into going with ported boxes and everything like that, but I've been building boxes for a long time, man, and from what I done seen, the seal just, it's, it sound way better in these old schools. You know, if you don't want to be trying to find the right song and it only beat on certain songs and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Go seal, man, if you want it to sound good on everything. And these subs, the same thing I got in my challenger over there. I got two of these in there. Two 18s in the Escalade. I'll do a video of that one later. But yeah, man, don't don't let people pressure you into, you know what I'm saying, going ported and all that. To me, ported work better when you're trying to make the best of what little that you have. And when you're going with these sealed bills, you really don't have to go with the most powerful sub there is. I've done uh, sealed deals with yeah, the cheapest subs I can find before. And, I mean, they still tear the damn trunk off. I'm gonna just be honest. It's kind of hard to go against sealed in the old school. But uh, that's, that's just from my personal experience. I'm gonna crank it up for a second though. 